Hello YouTube, Blair Size 17 here, but you can just call me Travis. And welcome to a, I guess, sort of like a label highlight video. I just uh, got, a, uh, got a sizable ordering from one label, so I kind of wanted to do, uh, kind of show off the, the, the things that I got. Plus, uh, also just shout out this label because I think it's a pretty good label. Alright, uh, before we get started, in the background, we're listening to Satan's Hollow, self-titled release from last year, my number one album from last year. I'm sure if you've watched me at all, you have heard of this album before. So, yep. And uh, speaking of which, uh, the label that I order from is Hoove Child Records, which actually is the label that is run by the drummer of St. Salo, uh, Patrick, I can't think of his last name actually, Patrick uh, Glockel, or Glocal, there's umlauts, I'm not sure if how you pronounce the O with umlauts, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, came across this label last year because they were selling Satan's Hollow merchandise, and so I did a few orders with them. And uh, it's been kind of cool to see the label kind of grow over time because in the beginning it kind of just had like a few things, mostly Saints Hallow merchandise and then a few other items, mostly from bands I wasn't really familiar with. Um, but yeah, over time uh, he's gotten more stuff and he actually has now a pretty, uh, pretty sizable amount of stuff in his shop. Uh, mostly like traditional heavy metal, traditional doom, sort of speed metal, sort of stuff within that kind of end of things and uh, all different kinds, tapes, CDs, vinyl, so, you know, whatever you want. Uh, he's He's got, uh, like I said, all three things going for him. So uh, it's a pretty cool label uh, and uh, yeah, finally uh, there's a specific, specific item that I wanted to get and I thought, you know what, it has been a while since I've done an order at Hoof Child Records and uh, I should do, you know, pick up some stuff. So I did. Um, the thing that I was specifically looking to get, uh, this just came out. Uh, last Friday. This is the uh, debut demo from the Canadian uh, epic, I guess, uh, doom metal band, uh, Smolder. Uh, you might be familiar with this band uh, because the vocalist, I'm not sure if she does... Yeah, it just says vocals. Uh, the vocalist uh, for this band is uh, Sarah Kitteringham, who you might recognize as uh, one of the people who does reviews for Banger TV, or whatever that channel's called. Uh, and generally speaking, uh, I think her tastes are awesome. So uh, when I found out she was in a band and was releasing uh, material, I immediately wanted to check it out and see what it was like. And uh, I gotta say, I really like it a lot. Uh, it comes on this uh, red tape. As you can see, it's actually a, uh, oh, it's a Hoove Child Records release. Uh, three songs. Uh, the title is The Sword Woman. I can actually show you the J card because it's actually open. But yeah, cool stuff. Our vocals are, are awesome. Uh, very melodic. And uh, I don't know. They're just, they're, just, uh, uh, they're just really good. I'll leave a, I'll leave a man camp link. You can listen to it. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. Uh, I guess it's... Uh, Limited to 150, I got number 80. Um, I will say, I mean, it's a demo, but some of the some of the guitar rec recording sounds kind of. Uh, I wish it was a little bit better, but that's uh, that's a minor complaint. I still think the material is pretty solid. If you're into uh, into doom stuff, I think I think you'll probably probably you know be into this. But uh, like I said, I'll leave a link. And you can listen to it. So yeah, Smolder, the wo Sword Woman. Canadian Doom Band uh, came with uh, a button. There's also, uh, you could order with a patch, which I did not do, although maybe since I ordered a few items, he, uh, he decided to throw it in anyway. So, that was pretty cool. Thanks, Pat. And not very often you see, you know, patches that are perpendicular like that. Perpendicular? No, that's not what I wanted to say. Uh, up and down, whatever the word is, I'm blanking. Alright, this is what the other things that I picked up while I was there. Uh, actually just wanted to buy, so I ordered this uh, Vulture, the guillotine on cassette. Uh, mostly just because it came with this patch, and for five bucks, shit, I would have bought the patch for five bucks, so why not get the tape as well? Let's see, it has a uh, labels on there. I'll, I'll probably give this away at some point because uh, I have it on CD so I don't really need it. And then, like I said, I mostly just uh, just wanted to get the patch. It's a cool patch. 
All right, then I picked up a few CDs. Uh, this is Armory. Uh, World Peace, Cosmic War. This is like a speed metal band uh, out of Sweden. Uh, this is like a... Oh, I guess so this is one of these things. I can take it out. This is a Hyrule Records release from like 2016, I believe. This is a release that I've been wanting to get for a while. Just have been putting it off for whatever reason. Good, solid stuff. Uh, they have an album coming out later this year, time, maybe like September. I can't remember exactly uh, when it is, but they do have one coming out later this year, so that's cool. Also picked up uh, this album from last year, uh, Pagan Altars, The Room of Shadows. Uh, up until last year, this was a band I wasn't really familiar with at all, uh, but was hearing cool things about this, and actually... Uh, Sarah Kittingham, who I mentioned previously, I think did a review or spoke about this album and made me want to check it out. And at that time, it was like it was like good, but like I wasn't super into it that much. And then uh, it was in the background of Pat Ground Zero Salem's videos one time, and I don't know, it just it hit that click point, and I was like, oh, that's great. So uh, even though it still took you know several months before I finally picked it up, but I finally decided to do that. Uh, I guess rest in peace, uh, Terry Jones, I think, just passed away last year. I think this actually re was released after he died. <laughs> so yeah, Pagan Altars. Uh, the Room of Shadows. And then lastly, uh, picked up this uh, Visigoth Final Spell uh, reissue EP from uh, Swords and Chains. U.S. label out of Illinois, I think, maybe. I guess out of a thousand, I had it was 759. So yeah, cool stuff. I think just now they have a demo maybe that I don't have. So yeah, cool stuff. Visigoth, final spell. So as you can see from the style of stuff that I showed, that's the kind of stuff that generally Poor Child Records carries. So if you're interested in that kind of music, definitely uh, give them a, uh, a look-see. I'll obviously leave a link to uh, their big cartel so you can look at their stuff. But yeah, just wanted to kind of, uh, you know, show off some stuff and highlight that label. So yeah, check out Who of Child Records and, uh, you know, check out these releases. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're familiar with any of these releases, please let me know what you think of them, uh, particularly that Smolder. Uh, and yeah, have a good day.